Hey, this is Josh Hewitt from Top Form Fitness, and these are my training progressions for the wall handstand push-up. Assuming you can already perform standard full push-ups, the first progression I'd use is the pike push-up. Basically, you're going to bend at the hips and keep your back and legs as stiff as you can while you walk yourself up into a pike position and then lower your head towards the floor as if you're doing almost like a handstand push-up from this pike position. Um, I like to use the push-up handles so they can get a little bit more range of motion, but you can do this with your hands flat on the floor. Uh, it'll be a little easier and uh, you won't have to travel as far. The next progression from there is to do the pike push-up with your feet elevated. This obviously makes it a little more challenging and, and more of your body weight over your shoulders. Next, I suggest practicing variations of a headstand. You gotta get used to being upside down. Now you wanna do this up against a wall and I suggest uh, putting something under your head, some padding, so it's a little uncomfortable resting your head on the floor. Brace your elbows on your knees before you try extending first one leg at a time and then both legs back up onto the wall. First with your knees bent and then working on extending your legs up the wall. After that it's time to practice just holding the handstand position with your feet on the wall for balance and your hands about a foot away from the wall. Practice with your arms fully extended, gradually kicking back with one leg at a time. And just get a few repetitions in, just kicking back, and increase your range and you can, until you can touch your heel to the wall. After a few tries of that, getting used to your balance, then kick back all the way to the wall and practice holding yourself in a handstand position. Now I'm going to start my first set of partial range repetitions. Notice that I've placed several foam pads under my head so this gives me a guideline to touch down to and I'm going to gradually progress my range of motion by removing these pads as I'm able. So I remove the yoga block, I have a couple of foam styrofoam pads here that now I've progressed to down towards and as I'm able to accomplish that range of motion I increase the range of motion once again by removing another pad and lowering myself all the way down. The next progression is to perform eccentric or negative handstand push-ups. Slowly lower yourself now until your head touches the floor, drop down to the start position, kick back up, and again repeat, eccentrically lowering yourself under control until your head touches, then drop down and back to the start position. Perform five to 10 repetitions of eccentric, slow lowering handstand push-ups, and then I recommend finishing your workout with some partial range repetitions. After working on the previous progressions that I've demonstrated for a few weeks or at least a few workouts, you should be ready to progress to full wall handstand push-ups. Aim for two or three sets of six to 12 repetitions and on the last set, perform as many repetitions as possible. Now the objective is to continue to progress the exercise by either increasing the number of repetitions or by increasing the range of motion as shown here using yoga blocks or parallel handles. Yeah.